Welcome to It Came From A Box, this is Sergio A.M. And previously, we featured super rare games on one of our Switch hauled episodes. They're a brand known for collaborating with indie developers to release limited physical versions of their titles, and I'm very excited to do so again to unbox their latest, Mixtape Volume 3. So, for those who don't know, these mixtapes contain 30 games and 6 demos from indie developers that you need to know about. Now, because of how most indie games are developed, it's only compatible with PC and they're priced at $35 USD. Half the price of a AAA game and that's a little over a dollar per game. Now, in Super Rare Games fashion, each volume is limited to 2,000 copies and as of this moment, 45% of Volume 3 has already been sold out, so get it while you can. They come in these sturdy, glossy collector boxes with an array of cover art from some of the included titles. Over on the back, we have a quick description for this volume along with some in-game screenshots. And inside we have the awesome looking mixtape in the shape of a cassette tape, something my kids have no idea about. This time around it's in green, looks great, and underneath here we have the pop-up USB. Really cool. Then underneath we have a very chunky booklet with a note from Ryan that you can pause to read and it's packed with dedicated pages for every single game included in this mixtape. Each includes artwork, a description, and a link to that game's website. Once you plug it in, you can look through your games or demos in alphabetical order, their controls, and some even include a gallery or diary with things like concept art and developer commentaries. Hello, I'm Seth Robinson, the programmer of Dink Smallwood. Before we continue, years ago, I only had one simple password with a few variations for my bank, email, MySpace, live journal, yeah, and everything else. But then I got hacked and my life got flipped, turned upside down. Now these days I don't stress over that anymore because of our sponsor, NordPass. All you gotta do is memorize a single master password for NordPass, which then helps you safely manage all your other passwords in one place, which is securely encrypted so no one but you can see. No more password one, two, three, but instead it generates long and secure ones like these. Now don't worry, you don't have to memorize them because with the app that's available on multiple devices, it can autofill it for you. Then it goes further because it's also safe enough to store things like your credit cards and personal details that yes, it can also autofill to save you even more time. That aside, there's also a lot of additional features such as secure notes, a password health checker, their data breach scanner, and more. So check it out for yourself. Head over to nordpass.com slash it came from a box and use our code it came from a box at checkout to get an exclusive deal plus one additional month for free to keep your password safe and secure with NordPass. So Mixtape describes it perfectly because there's a ton of variety in here. Normally when shopping for games, I look at what's new, what's popular, read through reviews and buy something I'm comfortable with, but that makes it so I miss out on a lot of unique games like the hidden gems you'll find in here. It took us a long time to play through this list, but I love jumping from one to the next. Uh, there's 2D side-scrollers, RPGs, platformers, puzzle games, heavily story-driven games, games that pay homage to other games, with themes ranging from retro, artsy, trippy, creepy, cutesy, the list goes on and on. There's something here for everyone, but some of our favorites are Finterior Decorator, where you start off with an empty aquarium and a single fish that poops out gold coins, as fish do which you save up to buy other fish and things to decorate the tank with. It starts slow, but as you keep your fish happy and well-fed, they'll poop even more gold coins, which speeds up the whole thing, and before you know it, you've gone too far. Another favorite is the hilarious Shot Dogs, which is all about how far you can throw your gun into the sea. You want to throw it with as much power as you can, and once you do, you can then unload the clip to gain momentum, and after it sinks, you gain some cash that you can buy upgrades with to go further. Really simple and hilarious concept that I got very addicted to. And one that stayed with me the most is Slide in the Woods. Sounds innocent enough, but after going down the slide a few times, things start to get a, a little dark. I don't want to spoil the whole thing, but eventually you'll stumble upon a flashlight, then an article about a small town tragedy, and then there's a trail of blood, and uh, yeah. If you want to see more, we'll be streaming it alongside every other game on this mixtape soon, so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. Finally, I had a chance to sit down and talk to the mind behind the concept, Ryan Brown, over at Super Rare Games. We talked for about 25 minutes, but for the sake of time, I did cut it down to just the juicy bits. 
So how did the mixtape come to be? So basically, I've been in that indie game scene for a long, long, long time before the indie game boom. And at that point, like, indie games only meant these really small scale, sort of single person, small team, no budget kind of thing. And I was in that community on sites like Tig Source, 64 Digit, The Daily Click. And I've literally had this idea for 10 and 15 years wow. and in this exact form that was come out as to be honest as well so the idea was it would be called like mixtape for one and it would have you know even to the point of being takes that shape that was something that i'd had in mind for a long time as well it would kind of really originated from those like one story I sort of say as an example every time is there was a developer called auntie pixelante and they were doing a talk and they this is a few years ago now and they tweeted about how they wanted to do a talk and mention one of their games that they didn't have it anymore and i was like i've got it <laughs> I've, I've got it just sat about on a hard drive and so I had to send them their own game. So oh, it just made me realize that, yeah, these games from the scene are not very well preserved. Yeah. And I do just genuinely believe strongly that the sort of creators are on these mixtapes. There will be many of these people who go on to make the next big indie game. Like they will come like these household gamer names. Yeah, I agree. I mean, yeah. playing through some of those, I was already like surprised that this isn't on Steam. This isn't being sold on some shelf somewhere because they're actually very highly polished. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, by, by design, like there is just a varied amount of games on here, like some jam games that were made for 48 hours. Maybe you'll play it for five minutes and go, okay, cool, that was neat. But then some of them are, you know, 10 hour long games. These volumes are so hand curated, they're hand picked, all very uh, interesting and deserving of attention. So let me ask you, how do mixed tapes support the devs behind them? So in, so in a few different ways. So I mean, first and foremost, financially, like we do pay them. Transparently, it's not a life changing amount of money, as you would probably expect. 30 games, 30 developers, and we also do marketing for it. So yeah, it really, oh, really? is just about like supporting developers in, in a multitude of ways, getting the game preserved properly, because you know, in, in normal circumstances, these games are not going to get physical releases, and I think that's quite a shame. And also, it's important to me that when you talk about video game preservation, you're not just talking about the game, yeah. it's sort of the story behind the game as well. So these mixtapes, they have developer commentaries, where the yeah, developers the talk. Yeah, the diaries, the developers will talk for a few minutes about the game. There's concept art. Obviously, it's it's super appreciated for anyone that does pick up a copy. It is genuinely a passion project. There's not some weird corporate way to try and get money. We basically don't make money from it. Um, the the small amount of money we do make just basically goes into the funding the production of the next one. So it is a genuine passion project. It's something we really really do care about and uh, and feel strongly about. My hope is to continue making four volumes a year. That's the maximum. We'll never make more than that because I think that would probably overwhelm people a little bit. Yeah. Um, one thing I hear from people is, oh, I didn't pick up the first one, so I don't feel like I need to get the next ones, which is a shame because obviously they're not tied. <laughs> they're, yeah. they're very standalone. But what I am doing in order to try and address that a little bit, because I understand that from a collector's point of view, is next year we're going to try and jump to some themed ones a bit. This is not an announcement by any means, but, you know, just ideas off the top of my head is stuff like a horror-themed one for sort of Halloween, maybe some other genre-based ones, that sort of thing. So hopefully those will be good jumping in points for some people. Huge thanks to Ryan for talking with us. Appreciate what him and the team are doing over there, which is why we love supporting these kind of passion projects. So if you'd like to do the same, check out Super Rare Games Mixtapes. Like I said, they're limited to 2,000 copies, so if you're looking to pick one up, we'll have links down in the description below, but remember, they won't last long. Once again, this is Sergio AM. Thanks for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you for the next box. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and want to help us out, you can do so by clicking that thumbs up button. And while you're at it, why not subscribe for more content? It's free. We also love to hear you out, so please leave a comment down below or talk with us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Sergio IM, and I'll see you for the next box.